Welcome back, mentees, to Near Mint Condition. I'm your host, The Astonishing Melanie, and today we're going to take a look at the Marvel portfolio of Peach Momoko, so please stay tuned. First of all, thank you to the fine folks at Marvel and David Gabriel for sending us this review copy of this gorgeous portfolio. Okay, just to give you an idea of how big this is, here's a regular sized comic. We've got this part in here is very glossy, shiny with the black being matte. Here we have the back with all the prints, um, a list of Peach Momoko's work. Forgot to mention, this is hardboard. It's part of the Marvel Pop Art series. Retails for $50 in the US. And as you can see, you open it up. The prints are listed on the side and you can pull them out of the portfolio. So let's take a look. Peach Momoko is a popular variant cover artist. So over here, when I say list of the prints, it lists the specific issues and the variant uh, numbers. So let's take a look at her watercolor, her color pencil and ink drawings. First off is Black Knight number one variant cover. I love how the scales seem to be falling off and then it makes your eye follow around with the flowers encasing him. Uh, he himself isn't that dynamic, so I think he and the character uh, I know nothing about, but here is just okay. Omar loves it. It's one of his favorites. However, I love the movement going around him. Okay, with this Captain Marvel, I love how practically there's color across the whole page and that your eye is drawn upwards. Um, it has a really nice flow to it. Up close, I think her eyes are the ratio of open to close or off a bit. I don't know. It's just me. Like either this one be open a little bit more or this one closed a little bit more. Omar thought it was fine. Here we have the Doctor Strange number 20 immortal variant. I think this one's perfect. These tendons being stretched out, his facial expression, the lines, the, the flow of the lines, the colors. This is really cool. And how about the X-Men number 18 variant with X-23? I like and appreciate the use of white space and it definitely works here, but I think I like the ones where practically the whole poster is full of color. However, again, I love how Peach Momoko makes your eye just naturally go one way across the page with these watercolor smears, smears, that sounds like an ugly word, uh, whatever they're called. This is really pretty. I'm not a big fan of just the blood splatters. I feel like it was just like thrown on at the end. But again, <laughs> I could never make anything this gorgeous. So if she wants to splatter blood, that's her choice. Ghost Spider number two variant. Oh, I love this one. Look at those colors. Oh, it's so perfect with the graffiti outline of the spider. And then this picture makes me think about how our phones are practically extensions of our own identities now. And I wish it weren't so, but it is the case for me as well. So the fact that her face, half of her face is a selfie on the phone, her other identity is Spider Gwen. Oh, at first I thought that's cheesy. This is all about kids and their phones. And I'm like, oh wait, this one's really good. <laughs> <laughs> Iron Man number four, Stormbreakers variant. Here we have Hellcat. Look at this dynamic picture. And you've got the background being swept a little bit here. Really cool. Perfect perspective. New Mutants variant number 13, The White Queen. This one doesn't speak to me. It's pretty. It just doesn't speak to me again because it's not dynamic. It's static. But then I thought this would be a gorgeous resin statue because I've been watching Sailor Moon Garage Kids on Leona's workshop, um, this YouTube channel, and she was doing Sailor Moon. But anyway, could you imagine building this and painting it? And with the Sailor Moon, they had um, like backgrounds or, or stands or whatnot that you had to paint. That would be awesome. Somebody make a garage kit out of it. Silver Surfer Black number four variant. I'm impressed with how her art style changes that you've got the you know kind of cutesy anime girl eyes but here look at these um different proportions um the flow of the lines again reminded me of amino with the hair and that braiding it's perfect how did she do that perfect so y'all know that i like venom really like this picture his eyes ooh, kind of tim burtony um that his teeth coming in at a point there kind of focus in a central point so that you have these flaring out and his webbing 
is the spit chef's kiss oh, look at that your eyes are drawn upwards towards the tendrils that are floating oh this one is pretty i don't know what to say about it except that the leaves are gorgeous green <laughs> I really like Momoko's use of watercolors and color pencils and ink. It's a great balance. So we kind of have a yin yang thing going here, right? Um, with King in Black, Wiccan and the Hulkling, uh, number one Stormbreakers variant. Um, this one, it confuses me a little bit though, just because them both being on this side, it makes me want to like turn it like I'm not I don't have it right I'm not quite sure how to explain that again not bad it's just my eye I'm uh, wanting to fix something with it oh and these swirls those lines are perfect lastly Avengers number 44 variant with the She-Hulk this is Omar's favorite out of all of these I think it's okay compared to others um, it took me a moment to see that this was a flower, which that's a cool touch. It's kind of hidden, at least to me. I don't like that color. Um, but look, you see here, or at least that's where my eye first starts. You come around, go up here. That's really cool. So that is it, Minties. What do you all think? Let us know in the comments below which of these prints are your favorite. If you're reading um, her series, Demon Days, about Psylocke that she's writing and drawing for Marvel. Thank you again for watching. Thank you so much to our Patreons for support. Please hit that like, subscribe button. Check out our spread shop. The link's in the description below. Just a few more days as of the publishing of this video for you to uh, enjoy 15% off our merchandise. We got some silly merchandise available for you. And as always, stay minty.